Welcome, Dan. Nice to see you again. <laughs> so uh, today's lesson, we're going to do some double stops. Did you um, download the uh, contents of the Dropbox? Yeah, I, I got uh, double stops in G. It's two pages. Yeah. The, All right. That's what you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at this now. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're kind of harmonizing the notes in that pentatonic scale and uh, playing them in, in what we call fourths. Um, and there's a couple third intervals in there too. So I'm going to play this slowly for you and uh, just check it out. start this uh, from the top here. We've got this first two notes. Okay, the next one the, the, uh, on the third fret, you're just going to bar both those notes with the first finger. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. Now, this one here on the fifth fret, you can do it a couple different ways. Uh, some people do it with barring on the third, you know, with the third finger. You can, you can do it that way. Normally, the way I'll do this is with the third finger and the fourth finger. So try it like that, yeah. It's, yeah, it's quicker. It's a little quicker, yeah. Okay, so, so far we have... Mm -hmm. Try to keep your fingers straight. If you are going to use, if you are going to just bar that with your third finger, you need to kind of keep it don't, don't curve it over like this. Keep it fairly straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah. I mean, you, you can angle it a little bit. Just, just don't get too far over there with your angle. Now, let's just do it from that point, from the start, and then ending up at that top note on the sixth. Uh, and try that. Up. Yeah, that's it. Except uh, the second note you hit, you uh, hit on the wrong fret. You hit the fifth fret instead of the sixth fret on the top there. Yeah. So really work on this. Do it slowly. And what I'll do is I'll send you another file that has the fingerings on there. So okay. it'll say like which finger you're going to use and stuff. Um, now I'm just going to show you a few, few licks using this. Kind of, you know, Chuck Berry made this stuff really, you know, famous. So there's tons and tons of Chuck Berry stuff you could listen to and you'll hear these licks. So we're starting at the 6th fret. The 6th fret, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Now a lot of times what you'll hear people do with this, Dan, is slide. So you'll slide from that 6th fret down to the 5th fret. So. You'll just need to make sure that you get both notes in the double stop real clean. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's good. I'll just show you kind of where you can put this. slow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, man. That's it. So you didn't know this one before? No. Ah, this is, this is a really useful one. I may have played it, but I didn't know what I was doing. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Well, now you do.
shape. So just three frets above wherever your chord is. If the, the chord is based off of the sixth string. So if you want to do it in, you know, whatever, A, there's your A chord, or A7 chord, three frets above on this set of strings. Yeah, that's it. Yep, exactly. What I'll do now, Dan, is I will play, a, I'll record a 12 bar blues. And uh, it's not exactly a 12 bar blues, um, but uh, you will be able to hear how I can move this. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all we got time for today. It's been uh, yeah. been an hour, but I will uh, send you another tab file. You can read the tab, all right? Oh yeah. Okay, I'll send you another tab file with some fingerings, and I will go back and kind of notate these licks and send you those as well. And so that'd be great. Cool. Well, this is uh, this is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh?